Go. Go. Go on through. Go on through. Go on, fatty. Go on, fatty. You can make it. Alright, welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft. We're glad you guys could come along. We got Sean today and Bella the Bushcraft Dog. Today we're going to attempt something new for you guys. First wild cook of 2019. We're going to try a little bit of Hillbilly Hot Pot. doing Bella glad to be out in the woods again got that plane flying over all the way from Canada we're gonna do something special for you our first wild cook of 2019 first thing you're gonna need is a good deep nice cast iron pot I know we packed in a lot of extra weight. The only reason I did it is because I had Sean with me today. And we're going to get a backpack for Bella also. It's like quicksand out here. There's so much mud. Everything's thawing out. But we figured what the heck. We're going to start out with the pot getting it good and hot. You don't have to worry about high flames with this because we want to boil. First thing right off the bat, you want to start out with your broth. Traditional hot pot is with a chicken broth. I know you're putting beef and Wagyu beef and stuff like that in it, but it is a chicken broth. And we need to get this to a boil right away. All right, guys, this is the secret ingredients. I spilled a little bit on me and it will stain you. This is the secret ingredients to my hillbilly hot pot. This is a chili paste mixed with garlic, a white sugar, it has red pepper oil, chili oil. This stuff is mean and it doesn't take much. You can see I used a full container of broth and this is how much we're gonna be putting in this. This stuff is super, super hot. Gonna give you a look at that. And that's what, we're going for a spicy hot pot here. Time to make it red now. Putting in the lava. What I got here is a mixture of some uh, pepper seeds. Watch out, Bella, you don't want any of that. Mixture of some pepper seeds, red pepper seeds, and a little bit of chopped up seaweed, the dried seaweed. It's mainly to give it some flavor. Throw that in there. Start mixing that up. Already turned a real deep red. And it's showing up even in this cast iron pot, as you can imagine if that was a white bowl. This stuff is poke. These potatoes cook the long, take the longest to cook. I'm just gonna start dropping potatoes in there. I just wanna do wagon wheels more or less. Put a few of them in. And some more peppers floating around in there. Onions in now for flavoring. Make it the hillbilly hot pot. What I did before I came out, guys, is sliced up a bunch of beautiful venison steak. And what I did is cut it very, very thin and almost cut it like butter, man. Just slice it through it, wipe it out. Slice it, wipe it, slice it, wipe it. And the whole idea is super thin so it'll cook real quick in this hot pot. Bella, you see this uh, plate of meat, don't you? And I also got some farm raised pig right off this farm. Some of the uh, Bacon off of it, pork, you know, pork belly more or less. That's what we're gonna make this our hillbilly hot pot. You guys, I'm all about the meat here. I'm gonna start putting some of this venison in. We're in a nice boil. Start dropping some of that in. It's nice you get to pick your own. Throw some of this belly fat in or pork belly. Definitely more of this venison. You guys know I'm a venison holic even got the chopsticks to make it authentic. 
pot pot. See how thin I slice them, guys? And I'll just try to show you some video of me cutting it real, real thin before I got out here. I didn't want to try to prep all this with all the mud. But uh, we're going to let Sean jump in here, too. And we also got some great vegetables, and I'll show you some vegetables. I'm going to throw some more of this in. But like I say, guys, this stuff will be done within seconds, so we got to jump in here and start eating. We also brought out some jalapenos, uh, broccoli, bean sprouts, some uh, actual basil, some mint, some carrots, and I even have some noodles if the meat don't fill us up. Beautiful basil, fresh basil here, jalapenos. We'll throw them in there now too, and the carrots. Maybe we'll save the noodles here for a little bit because they'll get mushy real quick. But I'm gonna have Sean jump in here and we're gonna start eating. One thing to remember too with your chopsticks since you're picking up raw meat, don't be afraid to leave it in there for a while, deep enough to where you're covering everywhere you touch with raw meat. Let it stand there and boil for a while. Keep it, you know, sterile. But I know some of that meat's already done, so I'm gonna grab some of this out of here. Some of this bean sprouts. See how the potatoes are doing. Oh, potatoes seem just right. Maybe one of these peppers. I'm gonna start grabbing, letting this meat get in here. I'm gonna start grabbing some of it, guys. Some of that's already done. Oh, yeah. Oh. That camera's, that meat looks delicious. Delicioso. I'm trying to find some of that uh, pork belly. Keep her cooking now, but I'm gonna bring this over to the camera so they can actually see it. See if I'm in here, guys. Look at that steaming hot pot. Oh yeah. Let me take these glasses off so I can see what I'm actually doing. Old Bella's going nuts. Making sure it's all in camera for you guys get the experience too. We're gonna go ahead and try some of that just by itself. Mmm. Oh, you can taste that spice, baby. Mmm. Oh, that's good stuff, guys. Mmm. 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 That'll make you want to slap your mama. That's so good. Very good. Hoping you're getting all this, guys. Of course, Bella knocked this camera off for the better angles. That's real good. Nice spice. You like it? Oh, yeah. Man, does that look good. You can taste that bite. It's not a bite that overpowers. You still taste no. the peppers. But you can still taste the meat flavor, the vegetable flavors. I'd say let's start throwing that meat in there, man. Man, is that stuff good. I always wanted to do a hot pot uh, video, a bush crab hot pot video. So we're doing it now. Try some of these potatoes. The potatoes, they seem to absorb all the juices and everything from this. Go ahead and throw the rest of them vegetables in there, Sean. Are they behind you? Uh, One thing I wanted to do was the poached egg in this hot pot. Does it, it's not a traditional hot pot unless we do the old poached egg. And the trick is, is to keep it in a spoon until it starts turning into a solid instead of just a gel. We'll give it a whirl. This is all experimental to me, guys. I've never done a hot pot before in my life, and today we're going to try one. little shell in there guys and then just let it float for a while till it kind of turns into a solid it's, it's doing it I don't know how good you can see it with the camera and we'll let that thing float off in there that way it didn't spread out with, with everything we'll do another one here Let's see if I can get into the broth here try another one One-handed, baby. You know Bella's gonna go after them eggs. That's gonna make it, man. That's gonna make it the true hot pot. And we'll start digging in, guys. 
There we go. It's already. Heck yeah, you can see the whites and the yolk. Beautiful, beautiful. I might just leave that in here to let it sterilize, but you can see that, guys. All that yummy goodness in there. Look at that one. That one's ready. See it? That's what you want. We'll let that boil for a little while just so we make sure all the germs are out of it. And, uh, me and Sean's going to eat, baby. Oh, is that stuff look good? All right. I'm going to actually try something with the egg. It's ready, but I want to definitely show you guys what it looks like. Look at this beautiful, yummy goodness, man. Oh, man. Ready? Oh, I dropped part of it, but that's all right. It's in my bowl. Mm. Oh, son. It just don't get no better than that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Man, that's good. What do you think? I'm going to eat the whole time you're over. <laughs> oh, man. That made it, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That stuff made it. Oh, oh this is the bomb, You want to throw all this, all this uh, meat in there? Let's throw all the meat in there. That way we can stoke the fire up. We can throw the noodles in there if you want. Throw a spell up you. Yeah, actually, I got a, a, some made to put off to the side for Bella. Okay. Go ahead and throw all that in. We're going to throw the rest of the meat in, guys, because me and Sean are definitely meat eaters. I didn't want you guys to think we weren't uh, feeding Bella. I just didn't want her to get any of that spicy stuff. Stay. 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 Eat your food. Good girl. Good girl. At this point, we're going to go ahead and throw the ramens in. I'll let Sean zoom in on that for a minute. Guess has got some fresh ramen noodles. I don't like the dry ones. And we're going to go ahead and put our more of our greens in. And I even got a little bit of lime I thought I'd squeeze in there. Give it a little tang. And in goes our noodles. Guys, and more jalapenos, of course. <laughs> Sean, I think we outdid ourselves with this one. I wish to be, it, the camera ain't doing this one justice. It's the spices and the, the aromas and being outside with no snow. I wish, I kind of wish I had the snow with, with all this mud, but just being outside, this noodles will absorb all this spicy juice also. But I'm ready for some of that pork fat. The pork fat, I would cook a little longer, guys, just to make sure you don't get any trigonosis. You don't want that rare pork belly bacon whatever you want to call it it's actually pork belly but uh, we're going to stoke this up and do some more eating man i wish you guys could smell this amazing perfect day for it prepped everything at home just because i knew it was going to be a lot of mud out here lots of mud Only thing we're missing, Sean, is a beer, one of Kevin's beers. It's true. That's the one thing we're missing. Get this back boiling up good and bubbly, and it is already, you guys can see. Oh, man. Well, all you guys need is a big pot, some venison, and some bacon. And you got yourself some hot pot, hillbilly style. Oh man, look at that. It's just beautiful. That egg, I think that egg really, really knocked it up a notch on flavor. And I'm hungry, and it's time to eat. This thing is just a bubbling, bubbling. We got the witch's brew here. Noodles, the bacon, the vegetables. You just can't get better than this, guys. Oh, yeah. Get some of them onions.
pretty hot, so be careful, Sean. Mm. Really hot. I was real curious to see uh, how this uh, venison would come out hot pot style, but I tell you guys, it stayed nice and tender. It's not, you know, it doesn't taste like grilled steak or anything, but the flavor from all that uh, oh, yeah. chili paste and stuff is just amazing in it. Mm. Oh my God, is that good? Vegetables cook real nice. Good. Everything cooked real nice. You try the noodles yet? Mm -hmm. I still haven't tried the pork fat. I'm doing that right now, guys. I'm kind of letting it cool because it's so hot. And this was actually originated to eat during the hot weather because they want you want to sweat and open your pores, and that's how your body naturally cools by sweating. But it's awfully good on cold days too. Today, what are we? About 38 degrees? Mm -hmm. 38, 40 degrees? In the sun, it feels better. Here in Ohio, 38, 40 degrees. You know, to most people, we feel like that's 60 degrees. I mean, we're walking around in t-shirts and no jackets and stuff. But uh, I'm trying the pork fat and the, uh, or pork belly and the ramen now. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is delicious, guys. Gotta try it. Definitely get out in the bush. Or make it at home. Yeah, make it at home, what the heck. And it don't have to be venison, guys. You can use beef. You get a good cut of beef. A ribeye steak would work real good. Sirloin, whatever. Even a roast. Good cut of roast. I can't see anything going bad with that. No. Anything you put in there is going to be good. I've even heard of Spam. That would really redneck it up. I was wanting to bring the Spam, but we had so much in there as it is. And carrying all this into the woods, it's a little rough. But uh, once again, guys, I really appreciate you always being out there. Always supporting the channel. We're putting a lot more videos out. We're doing a lot more shed hunting. Just because deer hunting's up, the season's over, doesn't mean our uh, actual our video making is over. Because you guys know we do a lot of wild cooking. But uh, I really appreciate that for sure. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft. My son Sean, Bella dog over there, trying to find some more scraps. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you. This is every weekend, man. Oh my God. Woods. This is the tenderloin. Mm -hmm. Just cook. It's yeah, the best. Those are my two favorites so far, the tenderloin and this one. This is amazing. Yeah, you get the simple versus the... Like, we should bring Sebastian in on this one. He did enjoy this. <laughs> nah, he, he ate it all. Yeah, he ate a lot, but he did enjoy it. He helped me get that dough, remember? Sure. Pull it out of the other side of that barbed wire. But, oh my God. That is amazing, guys. you got to try this at home. you got to. It's just one you have to try it on me. So tell you what guys, if you guys do one at home, definitely send me the video because I'd like to see it. Take care, I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft. It was worth carrying that big pot in. Look at that dog, she's so full of energy. She loves Sean being back from college, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's beautiful out here, even though it is in the 30s.